To end the world as you know it, press one. To drive through, two. To evaporate, press three. To love an enemy, four. Distract the teacher, five. Earn a living, press six. Get your way, eight. Undo, press nine. Enough? And just enough for you? My name is Lenore von Stein, and this is an episode of The Facts. Uh, and I'm here tonight with Andrew Wolotowski and Beth Griffith. And um, tonight we're doing a, with the first episode in a, in, a, in a short series or a long series, I'm never sure, uh, uh, about the main character, about a person named Gilpin Oliver. Uh, and uh, she, she, she comes from a family that has maybe 5,000 to 10,000 times more money, more resources than most of the people alive during the time that she's alive. Um, uh, For the, the top knot, I, I used use my, head. my head. That's what I say, say for now. And, and then, then at in the, the end, end, I found the, the parsnip. So glad you always say, and I echo. Me too, me too. Me too. Fire. This, this person, uh, Gilpin, when she's a child, 
uh, her father regularly to her and her brothers and sisters gave accounts of how many people would be exploited, how many people would be hurt uh, in order for them to maintain their wealth, how many people had been hurt and how many people will be hurt going forward. And he delineated some of these 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 uh, afflictions that would be inflicted on them, uh, like uh, health problems, early deaths, uh, missed opportunities, uh, and... Um, so that's what'll happen. Well, so that's what'll happen to they them. That. That's what'll happen to them. That's what'll happen to them. with the story. The story opens. The story opens. Gilpin is, she's, she's uh, just gotten, finished, gotten her master's degree, I think. I, that's, I've decided she has some, in finance or art history or something. And uh, she's got her master's degree in her, and her, the gift that her family gives her is uh, a, a house. They take her to this house, and uh, it's a beautiful house, and... Um, is it next to the parents? Uh, I, I don't think so, mm -hmm. and uh, and 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 they ask her. Well, they ask her if she wants this house, and she's. They say, you know, you don't have to take this house. Okay. Pew. Anyone Pew. 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 Pew.
So um, next we're going to do blues and D, but I want to tell this. I want to tell this part of the story now. Okay. Uh, and so and so and so and and so her parents say to her, they so they give her the house. She says, "Okay, I'll take this house. I like this house. You made a good choice, mom and dad." And um, they give her the cho the house, and they say, uh, "Well, look, um, you, I just want to know if you if you want this house." Uh, given that you know um, how many people, I just want to make sure, you know how many people would have to have been hurt to for us to get this house, the money for this house, and how many people will continue to be hurt for us to, for you to maintain this house? Do you still want this house? And she says, um, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, uh, and um, she says, I'm sorry, you know, I'm really sorry that, you know, all that has to happen, you know, but... Uh, I, you know, and I'm going to do whatever I can, you know, from time to time. I'll do so, you know, I'll do what I can to help. But you'd be crazy to turn down this house. Gilpin has a lot of clothes. I, I, I really like clothes. Gilpin has a lot of clothes. And she has she has these kind of these designer clothes that are sort of thematically about regular people's clothes, you know, sort of imitation torn clothes, imitation uh, uh, military clothes, imitation uh, what, what I have something written down here, uh, <laughs> sexual freedom clothes, imitation uh, what's that? There's some Italian designers always doing stuff like that. Um, so anyway, she has she moves to the house and she's living there for a while and and she, and then later on a few years later she marries a friendly hedge fund manager and she begins to collect abstract art. Before she collected concrete. Art? No, she collected she 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 didn't really collect art. She uh I mean, collecting stuff that, you know, is going to turn a dime, you know, that it's a good investment, you know, and, and also has nice colors, you know, to go with the living room and stuff, you know, and, um, and that she looks good standing next to, and, um, and, but, you know, she's not completely, she's not, I mean, I don't know her very well, but I, I don't think she's completely shallow, uh, but... There's a lot of pressures on her to be shallow. <laughs> I think that's the that's what I you know. Be you, jab you, bow, bash you, bab you, bash you, bash you, boo, boo, bash you, bash you, boo, bash you, bash you, bash you, boo. I'm like I'm holding the place in the book or something. That's her job, sort of the whole 
place in the book. Not to write the book. to date these things. It's October 27th, 2016, 12 days, two weeks, nine centuries away from the next presidential uh, election. Oh. And we've had to endure. <laughs> It's hard to sympathize with other people. A, you know, like a beautifully tuned car on empty roads, empty because nobody else has a car. people are suffering from the lack of money. I, I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be uh, callous to that suffering. And I, I, I'm a little worried that I, I'm thin-skinned. She's a little worried. She's not just, she's not just, you know. <coughs> so Gilpin is pretty sure that, because she's an educated person, she's pretty sure that this ride is going to end, this rich person's ride is going to end. Uh, but it's going to take a long time. And it's not going to end in her time. Uh, and, and, you know, she's, she's she, you know, she, houses will get smaller again. I live, I come from New York City. I live in a, in, on, near a block where I lived when I was a kid. Before we lived there, it was a one-family house. Then we lived there, and it was, we lived in the basement. It was many-family house. Now it's a one-family house again. So these things move around. And, and so she thinks, you know, yeah, that's going to happen. And, you, you know, servants won't be available, but you'll have machines that will do washing the floors, do everything else. You, you won't need servants, you know. And in fact, it won't even matter if you're rich anymore. It, it, it won't. It won't. It won't matter. It, it, it's not. It's not going to be an issue anymore. For, uh, and and that's so. And 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 and. But it is now. Thank God. It it is now. And 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 thank God I'm on the other side of that road. Count your blessings. Do 
Gilpin was in college, she had uh, she had a poor friend, and uh, and and she invited the poor friend over from time to time. But her parents didn't want her to stay friendly with the poor friend, and they would like they met the poor friend one time, but they stand they stood about six feet away, <laughs> and they said, you know, hello, hello, hi, it's nice to meet you, and uh, and uh, and they never invited the poor friend over for dinner, and. Uh, but they never stopped their daughter from seeing this poor friend. Uh, they just, they just, they just, they just, because they didn't know, maybe, I'm guessing, they didn't know what to do. They, they really didn't know what to do. They didn't know how to play this out. They, they didn't, they didn't know what to do. They, they were, they, that, but, so, I didn't know what to do about it. I didn't know what to do about it. It was, it was like, it was really, it was really, uh, I don't know what to do. I know what I have to do. I know what I should do. I know what I, uh, but what am I going to do? Gilpin saw like her friend when a friend went into stores. Sometimes they went together, and people th th were friendly to her. They weren't just like kissing up to her. They were actually friendly. Some stores, the grocery store. Five miles between you and us. We're developing this character. On, we're developing this character on the show, and and that that this is sort of a rehearsal for the next episode that we're going to shoot, where the development will be a little further. But each time that we do it, it develops more because that's the way it works on the facts. So, the, you know, the, the the stories, the stories, the techniques, the the music uh, develop, and you see it differently. It, you know, you if you keep watching, you see this development. I think. If you say, so looking for looking for the looking for the human for more of the human side of Gilpin or more of a side that I can I can sympathize with. I don't have to forgive somebody to sympathize with them.
you you join us again as we continue to explore all the mysteries that money can buy and and lack of money can buy and because we're all people I heard so 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 this is the facts and we are going to say good night for now for now. Bye.